everybody, it's Avery. For today's video, I tested some really weird and fun Pinterest DIYs. So what I did is I scrolled through Pinterest and then once I found something that I was like, does that even work? I just wrote it down and then I tried it today to see if it worked. I know these types of videos are really popular on YouTube, but I really enjoy watching them, so I decided to make one. So here is five different DIYs that I decided to test. I decided that I am going to review slash rate all of the DIYs after I finish them. The first one I tried is the stain removal techniques. For the first stain, I did a grass stain and I tried to get it out with vinegar and it worked kind of okay. It wasn't like the best, like it didn't come out instantly, but after I like did the vinegar and then I washed it and dried it, it got it out all the way. So. That's pretty good. And then for the lipstick, I use baby wipes to try and get it out and that did not work. It looks like nothing even happened. It looks like a fresh brand new stain. And then for the eyeshadow, I use shaving cream and that did a little bit. It's definitely still on the rag, but it's not as opaque as it was before. So I would give the grass one a five out of five because it definitely worked. And then for the lipstick, I would give it a 1 out of 5 because it literally looks like a fresh stain. And then for the eyeshadow, I would probably give it like a 2.5 out of 5. The next little DIY hack I tested was this little homemade speaker thing. Like I said, this is very easy to make. So all you need is an X-Acto knife or scissors, a phone, some duct tape. I don't know if you have to use duct tape, but there was duct tape in the picture, so I bought it. And then some plastic cups and and empty like toilet paper roll thing so i started off by wrapping the toilet paper empty roll thing i don't know what this is called in the duct tape just like how it was in the picture and then i just finished it off after i was done taping my toilet paper roll i took a marker and i marked about how long my phone was on the toilet paper thing just so i knew about how long to make the cut then i started with my exacto knife and then i ended up finishing with my scissors just because that was the easiest way to do it. Then I took my marker again and traced a hole on the two plastic cups. Then I just used my X-Acto knife and I cut that out. Once I was finished cutting the holes in both of my cups, I just assembled it and this part was really easy. It was all pretty easy. It didn't take that long to make. So this is what it sounded like. I just have my phone turned all the way up, but I didn't do anything to the audio in like the actual video editing process. I have seen this hack all over the internet for a really long time and I never thought it would work and then I tried it today and it works pretty well. It also was really easy to make so I would give this like a 4.5 out of 5. Moving on to the little DIY galaxy jar. I gotta say this was pretty fun to make so what you'll need is some tempera paint, some glitter, a jar, water, and I think that's it. So I started off, oh and cotton balls of course, that's like the most important thing. So I started off by taking the lid off of my jar and then I filled it up one third of the way with water. Then I just added a couple drops of whatever color of paint. I would recommend getting like two or three different colors of paint. Then I just shook the jar until it was all mixed together. Next I just added my glitter and then I stretched out a bunch of cotton balls and I put them in the paint water. After I finished squishing all the cotton balls in, I just added a little bit more glitter and then I repeated the process with a different color of paint and a different color of glitter. And then of course, once I was finished with the second layer, I just did the exact same thing for the third layer. This is what the finished like galaxy jar looks like. It's like cool, but it's not that magical. If you guys know what I'm saying, the glitter just doesn't really like do anything i don't know maybe i should have added more i felt like i added a lot but i don't know maybe i should have added more glitter the glitter all just rises to the top and it didn't really ombre as well as i wanted it to and the glitter is just in a weird spot it's either at the top or it's like compacted to the side i guess i don't know it's not just really mixed 
well and if you like shake it it just doesn't do anything it looks pretty cool but it's definitely nothing like the picture so i would give this like a three out of five moving on to the xylophone glow in the dark thingy what you'll need for this diy is different amounts of water and glass cups and then some glow sticks this is really easy. All you do is you break the glow sticks and then you attach them together so you make it in like a ring. Then you put two of the same color in the glass. And then we tested it and it totally failed. We used one of those drumsticks that comes from like the rock band set with like the drums because we didn't have anything else to hit it with. I had such high hopes for this and I was so excited to like see if it worked. And then when we tried it, we were so disappointed because it literally did nothing. I will try and insert a clip of what it was supposed to look like and it was so cool. I was like, oh my gosh, that's like the best thing ever. And then we were just so disappointed. So zero out of five stars for you, Mr. Glow in the Dark xylophone thing. The last thing I tried was the little hologram CD thing. For the hologram thing, what you will need is a phone, a pencil, a ruler. We used a protractor and some duct tape, a piece of paper, and then some CD cases. I started off by tracing a trapezoid on the paper. So the measurements are one centimeter across the top, three and a half on both sides, and then six on the bottom. Then I just cut it out with scissors and that was my template to cut the CD glass thingy. Once I finished cutting it out, I just took it on the CD cover and I traced the trapezoid on it with the black marker that I used earlier. Then I just cut it out. I tried to do it with my X-Acto knife. But it was seriously so hard, it wouldn't even go like through the CD cover like at all. So I ended up using scissors and it made it look like shattered glass. But in the end, it still worked anyways. So I just cut out four of those exact same things. Then you just tape them all together and you look up hologram videos like on YouTube. And then a bunch of them just pop up. So this is what it looked like. It looks really cool. I really liked it. I didn't think it was going to work, but it did. So I was really happy with it. It was definitely really cool, but the CD was so hard to cut. I tried using the X-Acto knife, that's like what I bought it for, and it just like didn't work. It wouldn't even like go through the glass at all. So I had to use scissors, which was really hard, but it definitely still worked and you could totally see it. So I will give it a four out of five stars. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more types of video like this, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Yeah. Bye! There's a table in the way. Hey everybody, it's Avery. For today's video, I am going to do the 50 facts about me tag and I'm really sorry I didn't post a video last Wednesday. I'm sick if you can't tell. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. This video was